it's Erica here from Milestone Mom and welcome. So today I actually just got off work and I wanted to come in here, let you guys know some of my favorite toys for six to nine month olds. Now I get asked this question all the time and I'm constantly in and out of homes with therapists and there's a lot of revolving toys that we constantly see on a regular basis. So I thought I would go ahead and come to you and share some of those toys with you. I'll go ahead and put the toys that I'm talking about on the screen. And if you see me looking here, I have my list right here. So the first one is stacking cups. So these are an absolute favorite for six to nine month olds. They are really good with um, helping them with eye-hand coordination, fine motor skills, and something that you'll probably notice about your six to nine month old, they won't actually start stacking the cups. Um, more of what you're gonna see is them banging the cups together. But these cups are great right now because when they do actually start stacking, usually around that 12 month mark, you'll already have the cups. But for now, what you can start doing with them is allow them to bang them together. These are great because it allows them to transfer from one hand to the other, also reaching out and holding the cups at midline. And then you can start even right now, allowing them to dump things into the cup. So a lot of play that is happening with six to nine months old right now is a lot of container play. That's what we call it. So you can actually get objects to put into the cups that aren't too small because babies this age are still mouthing things. And it also strengthens their fine motor skills. So let's see, the next one that I want to go over is the stacking ring. So I'm sure you're very familiar with this. This again is another really good one. The one that I have that's coming up on the screen is textural. So it's really good for their tactile senses, which really just means touch. So they'll be able to feel all those different sensations um, and textures on the rings. Um, so these are really good for grasping, strengthening their hand muscles um, and their fine motor skills. So they're also great for teething because babies this age are teething and mouthing those things and they're big enough that um, they won't choke on them. The next one is shape sorters. So again, I'm sure you're very familiar with this one, but why am I picking this one for a six to nine month old? And specifically, why am I picking this for a six to nine month old? Because they're probably not gonna be able to put the shapes in the shape sorter yet. <laughs> but the reason that I want you to go ahead and get a shape sorter for your six to nine month old is because there are so many different things that can happen with this type of toy. So what I would actually recommend for a six to nine month old is you get the shape sorter. It comes with different shapes. I want you to take the lid off. And again, at six to nine months, we're doing container play. So what I want you to work on with your baby is putting the pieces in and taking the pieces out. So actually one of the questions on my test around this age, is your baby able to drop an object upon demonstration? So if, you're, if you go to put the um, shape in the container and you're like, or drop, and then you drop it in there, are they going to imitate and do the same thing? So it's really around that 12 month mark that you'll actually be able to put the lid on and have them start putting pieces in. Um, the shape sorter that I'm recommending does have several pieces. I think it has like, I don't know, maybe five shapes. There are some that you can get that only have three if you want to do that. But I would only start with a few shapes. Um, the, probably the circle and the square is the easiest for them to start off with. And then around that 12 month mark, like I said, you'll start to see them actually putting the pieces in. But for right now at six to nine months, I want you to get this toy and I want you to practice container play. And I want you to practice those imitations of dropping the object on demonstration. So if you were to put it in the container, will your baby mimic you and put it in the container? Okay, moving on, here we go. The next one is the good old fashioned stacking box. <laughs> now the ones I put on the screen, I really like. They're a little bit different than the, the ones that I use in my testing. But I really like this ones because they're like a silicone material and they're big enough for your child's hand to grab around. Um, so they're not too small and they're not too big. Again, I want you to remember at six to nine months, most babies will be banging the blocks on tables, first of all, and then they'll realize they can bang the blocks together and make noises. It's still not until around that 12 month mark that you're actually going to see your baby starting to stack one block on top of the other. 
but I want you to get these blocks so they can practice grasping onto the blocks and strengthening their hands, fine motor control, transferring one block from one hand to the next. Um, the blocks are good enough size where they'll have to hold. They can hold the block with two hands, which means that they're practicing holding out at their midline. Um, so, so many different things that you can do with these blocks right now. Okay, and I cannot forget baby play gyms. I know I talked about this one in my three to six month video um, on the best toys for a three to six month old, but I love baby play gyms. Um, the one that I linked in the three to six month video, I'll go ahead and link here too. And the reason I like it is because it grows with your child. First is a baby play gym. And then when they're starting to kind of sit up, it turns into something that kind of confines them a little bit but they have an opportunity to still play with all the toys. I love those kind of baby play gyms. For six to nine months, they're still able to reach out and grasp and strengthen their core muscle as they're sitting up and reaching out. Because I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but laying down and reaching up is totally different than sitting up and reaching out. So those are skills that your baby needs to learn, and it would still be really good for them to have the baby play gym. I know a lot of those toys usually come off um, of the play, the baby play gym that they can start exploring and playing with, not necessarily just laying under them. Which brings me to my next one, because we're talking about some of the toys that can come off the baby play gym, is the, they're called chewy beans, chewy bean links. So you can actually link these together and you'll see a picture of it here, but it's really great for teething too, because they can put these in, in their mouth. So you can put these on a car seat, the baby play gym, whether they're laying down or sitting up, you can still have those on there. And this is also really good for them teething. And the fine motor, I love these because they're small enough that they can transfer practicing from one hand to the next, reaching out at the midline to hold on to these. And then I have another one, which is one of my favorites. And this one's called an O-Ball. Uh, I love these because these again are great for fine motor, being able to hold on to the ball with both hands, or they're very, very easy to transfer from one hand to the other, strengthening those fine motor skills. And the last one I have for you is touch and feel books. Now the one that I'm going to link to is a touch and feel farm book, which I love because all kids love animals. When I did my three to six month video on the best toys for three to six month old, I also included books. I love books. Books do so much. They are an opportunity for your baby to look at the book, to feel the book, for you to read to your baby. It incorporates that language component for them, um, helping to strengthen and increase their vocabulary later on when they start saying their first words. All right, guys, so there you have it. My favorite toys for six to nine month olds. And if you missed it, I also have that video for three to six month olds if you wanna check that out. So like I said, these are a lot of the toys that we see in our practice kind of going round and round with different therapists. So I thought I would go ahead and get on here and share those with you. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to do that in the comments below. Let me know what videos you want to see. And if there's a mom that would benefit from the information that I am talking about, feel free to send her a link, especially if it's gonna be beneficial for her. And if you want access to me, a pediatric developmental therapist, please consider joining the Milestone Mom Academy. And a link to that will be in the description below as well. All right, guys, I appreciate you and I will see you soon.